there, Jill Woods here from Crowd Connections and this video is just a really short video to show you how to set the privacy settings on your videos when you load them up to YouTube. Um, obviously most of the time if you're using video for marketing you want everybody to be able to see your videos and for them to show up in the search results on YouTube and on Google and Bing and Yahoo and all over the place but there might be occasions where you want to keep those videos more private. <clears throat> so I just want to show you how to do that. Once you're in your channel, your video, your YouTube channel, if you go over to the right hand side here you can see a video manager button. If you just click on that video manager button, <coughs> excuse me, um, you then get the whole list of your videos and you can see here under in this column, it hasn't got a heading, but under this column it shows the different privacy settings. So the little padlock that's not completely locked is unlisted. The little head and shoulders image is public. And then if I scroll further down here, I'm sure I've got a private one somewhere. Um, da, 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 there we go, a full closed padlock and that's private. Okay, so those are the three settings that you can have and I'll explain the difference to you. Um, public obviously is public. Everybody can find it, everybody can see it, everybody can view it. Okay, that's that's that. This um, unlisted basically means that it won't show up on the search results anywhere. But if you post a URL link in, say, an email newsletter or to uh, on a specific page on your website or on Facebook or what have you, then only the people who can click that link will be able to view the video. So you might not know who those people are going to be, but you might want to tailor the audience, i.e. only share content with people who sign up for your e email newsletter, for example. And so that unlisted feature is a great way of doing that. Private, the private setting which is the one down here which is the full padlock um, that basically means it, it people can't search for it and if you shared the link with people they wouldn't be able to click on it and view the video but you can set people's email addresses to that particular video so that if you sent them the link they would be able to view it okay so if I show you how to do that and it might make a bit more sense if we go into this specific video, so if we go into this one here, which was a review for Fell Running Guide, click on edit. <coughs> and if we just scroll down very clearly here, you can see the privacy settings. And this one is set to unlisted, which basically, and it tells you here, anyone with the link can view. Okay, so if I post the URL of that video into an email newsletter or onto a website somewhere, anybody who clicks that link, so who has access to that specific full link can view the video. If I just change that to public, okay, so this is now saying anybody can search for and view the video. If I change it to private, you'll see a new box pop up, okay, and this is where you can enter an email address or a username and you can specifically allocate people to be able to view that video. OK, um, you can leave that completely blank and that means nobody else but you can then see that video. All right. But if you did want to share it with one or two people, then this is the best way to do it. You add in their email address or their user, their YouTube username into there. When you've changed anything in there, let me just do put that back to un unlisted. Um, if we go down to here and don't forget to click on save changes so that all the changes you've made are saved. OK, um, so I hope you found that helpful. And if you've got any questions at all, as usual, stick them in the box below or get in touch with me at crowdconnections.com. And um, I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you very much for your time.